Hey guys, what you're about to see in this video is for educational purposes only. Please don't do anything stupid or illegal. I'm not going to be responsible for your actions. Thank you. Hi, and welcome to this video about sandboxes. Now before we get started, I just want to put this in context. There are many different usage to the term sandbox when it comes to technology. For example, you can use a sandbox as a testing environment, as part of production or part of QA. Today we're going to talk about sandboxes in the context of cybersecurity. So what is a sandbox? A sandbox is basically a machine. A machine that is usually separated and segregated from our production environment. It can be used as part of our endpoint security apparatus if the antivirus or EDR can decide whether a specific file or package are malicious. It can be used to examine a certain link coming from the internet. It can also be used to test an email before moving it to our mailbox. So how does it work? The sample will be sent to the sandbox. Now again, we don't know if that sample is malicious or benign. We have done all the tests that we can. Reputation, scanning for signatures, but we can't tell for sure until we open the sample. And that is exactly what the sandbox will do for us in a testing safe environment. So it's going to open that package, in other words, it's going to let it run. Once it sees what it does, it can make a decision if this is a legitimate file or an application. In this case, of course, it's going to forward it, whether again it's to our mailbox or to our endpoint. If it will prove to be malicious, it's going to drop it and not let it move forward to the production environment where, of course, that malware might cause harm and damage. For our demo, we're going to use an online sandbox called AnyRun. So all I had to do is put in the URL bar any.run and I'm going to click on Let's Hunt. It's going to give me a chance to register, but we don't need to do that at this time. What I'm going to do is go to Public Tasks. And here I can see a list of all the different tasks that were run recently. Let's pick one. Let's see what we have here. So first we can see screenshots from the test itself. We can see some network information, such as the HTTP requests, connections, DNS requests, and threats. If applicable, we can see some file information and even debug information. Some of these features are set for premium, but we can take a look at the process graph, for example, and see what happened from the moment the test started throughout the test itself, how different processes have spawned, and what they have done. If I click on one of them, I can even get more information. Now, cover everything that we see here is beyond the scope of the video but we can definitely see that we get a lot of good information here. If I go back, I can also look at the MITRE ATT&CK framework. And here I can see what techniques, tactics, and procedures were used for this specific attack. I can, of course, export this information and I can create a report. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey, if you liked this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. For more news and updates, visit TomBH.com. See you next time.